So what else is new? The most concise summation of Defense Secretary Gilberto Teodoro's feedback on the China's foreign ministry knee-jerk reaction by spewing yet again half-truths and misinformation over the president's congratulatory message to Taiwan's president-elect in the self-ruled island's latest democratic exercise. In fact, the president's message was prefaced the day before the DFA statement of acknowledgement of the country's one China policy to dispel all doubts of the government's position on the issue. Our Bea Bernardo has more. Defense Secretary Gilberto Chodoro Jr. slammed China's statement regarding President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr.'s congratulatory message to Taiwanese President-elect Lei ching Te. The secretary stressed the statement of the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs that insults the president and the Filipino people is unfortunate. But he said China's action does not come as a surprise given its record as a nation that spreads state-sanctioned propaganda and false information. Chudoro also called China's statement on brand and the world should not be surprised nor expect anything from them. China said the president's message on the recent elections in Taiwan was a violation of the One China policy and advised the Philippine government to read the entire One China policy text. The Chinese foreign ministry even summoned Philippine ambassador to Beijing, Jaime Flor Cruz, to explain. The Department of Foreign Affairs earlier explained that the intention of the message of the president is to thank the Taiwanese government for taking care of the welfare of the OFWs there. They also said the Philippines continues to recognize and adhere to one China policy. For some legislators, there is nothing wrong with the president's congratulations. According to House Senior Deputy Speaker Aurelio Gonzalez Jr., as the leader of the Philippines, the president's mandate includes delivering a message to any global leader and building a good relationship. Chinese Ambassador to the Philippines Wang Xilian said China's internal affairs is a highly sensitive issue to their government. Despite this, he insisted it is important for the Philippines and China to talk, especially on rising tensions between them in the West Philippines. We uh, hope that the Philippines will meet China halfway, manage maritime differences properly through dialogue and consultation, and jointly maintain peace and stability in the South China Sea. The eight bilateral consultation mechanism on the South China Sea between the Philippines and China was convened in Shanghai yesterday. According to the DFA, officials of the two countries had a frank and productive discussions. The Philippines and China also agreed to improve maritime communication mechanism in the South China Sea, including communications with the foreign ministries and coast guards of both countries. Possible academic exchanges and maritime scientific research between Chinese and Filipino scientists were also discuss. Bea Bernardo for The Nation.